Kevin Moore, owner of Total Performance Physical Therapy. Today we're going to talk about knee pain with squatting. This seems to be one of the common occurrences when people squat. Um, and there are different forms of squats and different types of squatting that people do, single leg with the ball on the wall, all the way to the ground with the bar on their back. Most of the problem that comes with squatting and why there's a lot of knee pain associated with it is the fact that most people are up on their toes. And not necessarily up like this, but their weight is distributed more towards their toes. What happens when you do that is you're firing your quads. Now in most people, the quad in front is your strongest muscle, as opposed to your hamstring in the back. So the quad's gonna kick in to get you up from the position that you're in. Also, technique has a lot to do with knee pain and squatting. There are two major mistakes that people make when it comes to squatting with knee pain. And um, what happens is your toes come forward, so they actually go over your knee. You wanna make sure that your toes do not go forward of your knee. This is gonna help facilitate sitting back on your heels and having the weight go through your heels and then into your hamstrings and your glutes. If you're feeling this more in the kneecap or you're feeling a lot of strain on your kneecap, you're really pushing through your toes. The other problem, the other major problem that people experience when they're squatting and they have knee pain is their knees come together. Now, it may not be as exaggerated as that, but what happens is, is as they go down, at some point, their knees start to come together. And this is a big no-no. You should be able to maintain a perfect posture all the way through without your knees having to come together. One of the spots that this is really obvious is when you go down and you try and come back up, a lot of times you'll do this. Again, that was a really exaggerated uh, showing of what people will do, um, but that's, that's a break in the system and that's gonna cause you knee pain. What can you do to correct this? First of all, if you are only doing a half squat, something like this, you're missing out on a lot of what the squat can offer. My rule of thumb is everybody squats to the floor. So your glutes, which is your butt, which is why a lot of people do squats anyway, don't really become active. Your glute meatus doesn't come out and become active before you go down beyond 90 degrees. So what happens is, is when you stop here, you're not really hitting one of the bigger glute muscles. You want to stand with your toes slightly turned out, shoulder width apart, back stays straight. Another issue with back pain, which is a whole other video, is people tend to collapse on your low back. You're hinging at the hips, you're bending at the hips, you're not collapsing at the spine in the, in the back. All you're going to do, keep straight, whether you have a bar on your back or not, you're going to go down to the floor and then you're going to come back up, okay? Now I have left weakness, I have left IT issues. So you can see, if you go real slow on that video, you'll see my left knee wobble. That is what you want to avoid. That is what you do not want to happen. If you have wobbling knees, you want to make sure that you stop. If you're loading your spine, you want to stop. If you're not, you want to make sure that you're getting um, the proper foam rolling techniques uh, in another video that we have so that this doesn't occur. If you are getting knee pain when squatting, this is often an indication of something greater going on. We offer a free 10 minute consultation. If you wanna come in, all you have to do is click on the box and we will get you scheduled for a free consultation and let you know where your knee pain is coming from and why you're having it when you're squatting. Thank you.